Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through Fast Secure Contact Form which is obviously a contact form plugin for WordPress. Pretty handy and it has a great deal of features and is certainly a very strong competitor to the extremely popular Contact Form 7. In this video we're specifically going to show you the basic settings, what they mean for you and how you can actually insert that contact form uh, into your website. Uh, so we're going to start with actually inserting the contact form. And to do that, you need to come into plugins and then fast secure contact form. And it'll just take you to the basic settings tab first. And you can actually see that short code just here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is copy that. And in another tab, I've got a post on my website open. I'm going to click edit there. And we'll just insert that contact form code at the very top and update the post. And now we just want to view that to make sure it's loading. Okay, so there we go. That's the contact form. Uh, you can see it's got name, email, subject, message, uh, new field, which is something I accidentally put in before, uh, as well as a capture, which is pretty handy to prevent spam from coming through. So we'll jump back into the settings now. And the first thing that we can configure is the actual label of the form, but it would probably be best expressed as the name of the form. Uh, you can change this to anything you like. I'm just going to call it general contact form to keep it simple. Then you've got a little area where you can customize the welcome introduction. Uh, as you can see here, it's got that there, the comments or questions are welcome. You can change this to anything you like. Maybe you'd like to make it a little bit more friendly. Uh, you know, please feel free uh, to get in touch if you have any comments or questions. And that's really all there is for the basic settings. Uh, thereafter, we move down to the email settings. And here it just is defined where emails are actually sent when they come through the contact form. You can choose anything you like, of course, just so long as it is an email address that you use. Uh, you can change that webmaster part there to you know your name or whatever you'd like, rather than it being uh, to webmaster, which might be a little bit vague in some cases. You can also choose to add a blind carbon copy email address or a BCC email address uh, for the email to be sent to if you'd like. Thereafter, you can choose the email subject prefix. As you can see here, it's WP Demo Site Contact. Uh, maybe it's on you know, a news website, so it might be like your know, news website contact. Uh, that way you can keep track of them really easily in your email address uh, via the subject. Next, we can set a return path address. This is uh, somewhat required, and as the plugin notes, it is recommended. Uh, it's basically setting a return path address in the email header itself. And a lot of web hosts and email service providers require that you actually have this, uh, otherwise the email is not guaranteed at getting through to the intended recipient. And that's because it's a great way of preventing against spam. So you could put in uh, anything really, it just needs to be the same domain as your website. So you might have contact at, so for this one, example.dev, and then you should be able to get around that uh, pretty easily. The next setting is to enable when web host requires mail form strictly tied to the site. Just like the return path address, uh, it is something that's required by the majority of internet service providers and web hosts now. So we'd recommend turning this on and it will enable you to simply just hit reply uh, when you receive that email. And that way you can directly reach the person who actually sent that contact form through to you in the first place. Finally, you can choose to set a custom reply to. There's really not a great need to do this because the reply to should be automatically set to the user's email address. So we're gonna not worry about that for now. Uh, and of course, as always, when you've made any changes, always hit save changes uh, to make those actually be committed. Uh, but that's it, that's, uh, that's all we're gonna cover in this video, just the, you know, how to insert the contact form on your website and some basic configuration of it there. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, please feel free to ask in the comments below.